Joining me now is Democratic Senate candidate John Ossoff. Uh, Senator, that was quite a takedown, as has been noted. Uh, does they give you any reason? I guess the reason for him canceling the debate uh, is that the president's coming that night. Is that the deal? We don't even think the president's actually coming on Sunday. In any event, the station offered him any okay. other time, and I'm ready any time, any place to debate Senator Perdue. We think his handlers just decided that they don't want him out on the debate stage anymore. He doesn't have good answers to the questions that Georgians are asking him, why he voted four times to repeal protections for pre-existing conditions, why he was buying stock in manufacturers of medical equipment the same day the Senate got a classified briefing on COVID-19. He doesn't want to be held accountable. He feels entitled to his seat, and he's running from open debate. Now, you've got two Senate races in Georgia, and everyone's watching this because of the Georgia rules. Uh, you've, you've got three candidates. What is your, the likelihood of avoiding a runoff? Well, we're working hard right through the finish. We're in Macon, Georgia on the road today, hence this picturesque hotel backdrop behind me. We're doing everything we can to get out the Life vote. Life on the road, we are Senator. Working <laughs> we are working hard to protect ballot access. Like That's my most important message, folks out there. You want to see us defeat Senator David Perdue? This is the same guy who, because he doesn't want to talk about COVID-19, stooped to mocking Kamala Harris's heritage at a presidential rally. This is the same guy who was buying stock in manufacturers of medical equipment the same day the Senate got a classified briefing on COVID-19 in January. This guy has nothing to run on but disease, unemployment, and personal corruption. He's refusing to debate me. He's running from the public at the moment when the public deserves to hear from elected officials. But we've got to combat voter suppression, protect ballot access in Georgia, and folks can log on and help us do that at electjohn.com. Well, apparently the president is coming on Sunday, but also Senator Kamala Harris is going to be campaigning in Georgia on Sunday as well. Uh, Joe Biden was in the state earlier this week. There's been some criticism. Why are, you know, why are the Democrats spending so much time, Georgia, uh, Texas, Arizona, and not focusing on what they really need to win, which is Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and try to deny the president, you know, at least hold the states that Hillary Clinton won? or else deny the president Florida? Well, we welcome the vice president's visit. We are thrilled that Senator Harris is coming again on Sunday. Andrea, remember that Stacey Abrams only lost the governor's race here in Georgia by 50,000 votes two years ago. We've registered more than 800,000 new voters in this state since then. And the Georgia's new electorate is younger and more diverse. Georgia voters of all parties are rejecting this administration's incompetent, catastrophic, and corrupt leadership at this moment of national crisis. We desperately need a change. And I'm urging folks to log on and support my campaign's voter protection efforts to make sure that every single voter in this state can cast their ballot today, the last day of early voting, or Tuesday, the last chance to vote at all. And and I assume uh, the message is also don't mail those ballots in at this point. Uh, that is not at all secure. Uh, John Ossoff, thank you very much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.